Hey, good morning. I'm going to try to do this video. This will be the third time. The last two times I did it on my iPad. Something's going on with the iPad. I don't know if it's out of space or what, but uh, I've talked for like 30 minutes just to myself, trying to do it twice. And when I get done, it's not screen recording. So uh, I got a few scriptures wrote down on my iPad, but I'm just going to do it on my phone. I just want to talk to everyone about in uh, Matthew 24. I hear this a lot where people will just assume that Jesus is talking to us where he says, you know, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Okay, this is where the Jews are all gathered around and they're asking them what, what the end, what are the signs of the end? You know, and he starts out, he says, Let no one take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And he goes on and just tells everybody what the signs are. But like it says, uh, he's talking to Israel. And like in, uh, let's see, in Jeremiah 37, he says, Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Jesus is talking to the Jews, telling them because the Jews reject Christ. They had Messiah crucified. So God goes back to the Jews in the great tribulation, and he saves a remnant of them out of that. Okay, and you got to realize that this was before Christ was crucified. You know, he was on this earth preaching to the to the Israel because he said, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said, go not to the way of the Gentiles. He was preaching that the kingdom was at hand. You know, this was before they crucified him. And you got to realize that, like it says in a, a 2 Timothy 2.15, he says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth because you got to realize that like i said he was talking to jacob telling them about jacob's trouble but jesus revealed a mystery like it says in um first corinthians 2 7 he says but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which god ordained before the world so there was a mystery that Jesus did not reveal to the Jews at that time because it was before they had him crucified, you know. And then after they had him crucified, he turned from the Jews and he raised up Saul of Tarsus, which became the Apostle Paul, and he revealed this mystery. You know, this mystery was hidden before the world was ordained, like it says he says, which God ordained before the world. And uh, this mystery that he revealed to Paul has nothing to do with Jacob's trouble. You got to understand that you got to rightly divide that because in 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty one, he says, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. He says, we shall not all sleep means there's a group of people that aren't going to die. They're not going to sleep. They're not going to die. He says, but we shall all be changed in the moment in the twinkle of an eye at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. That verse is connected to 1 Thessalonians four sixteen through 18 because he says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. You know, this is not talking about Jacob's trouble, which would also be, that's the day of the Lord. Because like it says in Amos 5.18, it says, Woe unto them that desire the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is going to be the day of darkness. It says, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. And we know that, you know, that this catching up is not the day of the Lord because in Titus 
2.13, he tells us that we're looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and Savior. So that's the glorious appearing is not the day of darkness. The day of darkness is the day of the Lord where the Lord comes down with wrath and destroys his enemy. And he treads the winepress and so much blood comes out of this day. It goes all the way up to the horse's bridle. So this is a separate event. You know, we're looking for that blessed hope. That's the part in 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty one. That's the mystery that wasn't revealed to the Jews. He says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in the moment in the twinkle of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. This is a totally separate event than Jacob's trouble. Like it says in Matthew 24, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened. See, this was before the mystery was revealed to Paul. This is what's going to happen at the end. This is Jacob, Israel, where God basically shakes things up and he removes his restrainer and lets the, the devil take over for seven years, basically. And uh, basically r rules this world. But this is definitely not talking about the mystery that was revealed after the mystery was revealed after Christ was crucified. You know, it wasn't revealed before that. So you can't put Matthew 29 on the body of Christ. It has nothing to do with that. But anyway, that's pretty much all the scriptures I wanted to share. I just wanted to point that out, that, uh, that Jesus is talking to Israel. It's Jacob's trouble. It's not the body of the Christ. We're not looking for the day of the Lord because the day of the Lord is darkness. We're looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior. But anyway, hopefully this will record this time. I think it will. I'm using my phone. But uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Talk to you later.